Welcome everyone, thanks for checking out this video, tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Today we're going to go ahead and do your love prediction reading for April 2020 to see what's in store for this month regarding your love and your relationships, okay? What messages are here for you? For those of you who are new to pick a card readings, we have pile one, two, and three. You pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, whichever one pops out at you, and the timestamp is in the description box below, so you can go ahead and fast forward to your message. If you like this reading, I ask that you please like, comment, and share. Okay, share with family and friends because there may be a message here for them as well. And if you have not already, please subscribe, support my channel so that you can um get alerts for all the new videos that i will be posting in the future all right so again thanks for being here thanks for supporting this we're going to go ahead and jump in for those of you who chose pile number one okay we're going to start here with the lover's oracle okay your first message is sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. Okay, so there is a, a strong sexual attraction here. Some strong sexual energies. Okay, and it's also letting you know that, you know, this act of intimacy is to be honored. Okay, it isn't to be shared just with everyone. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For that's where you will find true bliss, true happiness. If you're just sharing yourself with everybody, you're not going to really experience that deep intimate, that deep intimacy. It just becomes more of an act, more of a habit, rather than this experience. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now here with the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. You have reach out, the number three, teach, the number five, and simply love, the number six. Okay, so reach out here. I'm going to pull from the book here. 81. Okay, so reach out. Keywords is teamwork, preparation, alchemy, and achievement. You are a strong, capable person, yet sometimes you forget to ask other people for assistance. You struggle along doing your best, but often don't quite achieve the results you want. This card serves as a reminder that you do not have to do it alone. You may ultimately get what you want by going solo, but your de your desires will happen sooner and more gracefully with help of others. Okay, so this is letting you know, yeah, then you, you, you know, the first card was talking about union, you know, becoming one with somebody. Okay, then you also have teach here. So in this instance, you may need to teach somebody or you may need to be let somebody teach you okay some of the keywords here is shepherd advise learn wisdom reflection and beliefs although the name of this card is teach it brings the dual energies of both teaching and learning you have much wisdom to offer regarding affairs of the heart this wisdom has been gained through all your joys and your sorrows at this time, there may be an opportunity to assist someone regarding a relationship. That person may even be you. When the opportunity arises, remember the shepherd, one who gently guides his sheep along the desired path. Use that same gentleness in guiding yourself or others. There may, be al there may also be an opportunity to learn right now. This could take place in many ways through conversation, observations, or even reflection. Take a moment to reflect on what you already learned about your relationships and what you still want or need to understand. Then seek a teacher who will help you arrive at that understanding. And then your last one is simply love. 
Okay, so this is a time for you to learn or a time for you to teach somebody. Okay, maybe you need to learn how to accept help from other people, how to, you know, work together as a team. Realize that in, uh, in any relationship, and there needs to be balance, giving and receiving. Okay, you have a part to do and they have a part to do. All right, simply love, innocence, nostalgia, kindness, and children. People often fondly remember the innocence of youth as a time when life seems simpler. This card is to call to action to bring that innocence and energy into the present and into your relationships. As much as you can, interact with others from a pure and open heart, full of love and free of ulterior motives. Do this and you'll find that your relationships will deepen and require far less effort. When you reminisce about your past, bring back only the happy memories and cherish them. Okay, so it's telling you, you may reminisce about your past, but only reminisce about the good stuff. Okay, don't live in the past. Don't focus on the bad things. Okay, make sure that you're being balanced. You're allowing people to help you. And if an opportunity arises for you to help somebody or teach somebody something, you do so. But don't be so stubborn that you may not that you're not seeing an opportunity where you can learn something as well. Okay, now this is the Guardian Angel Tarot. Your first card is Two of Action. Okay, and the card reads Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There is opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Yeah, see, so it says again, you know, it may be time to take a partner, a partner who can help you be a success in your career okay or your creative endeavors a partner again reach out okay that's saying to reach out okay allow somebody to help you okay now your next card is open your heart yep allow love to grow and bloom all around you you've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time and now the time has come Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. Okay, another number six here. Simply love and open your heart. Okay, love is wanting to come in. Okay, you have a spiritual union here. Okay, then you have ten of emotion. Okay, this is like the Ten of Cups in the traditional tarot. So this is the, the rainbows, the happiness at the end. Life is blessing you with wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. And that is beautiful. Yeah, so you have the simply love. Clarified by the ton of emotion. So there is this wonderful thing waiting for you. Okay, you just need to al allow somebody to come in and give you. Okay, now from the goddess guidance, easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Okay, so you may be wanting to... Rush something. You may be wanting to get some signs. Okay, but it's telling you it's happening in, in divine timing. Okay, you can reach out. You can allow somebody to come in. Just open your heart and things will come in. Things will flow in. Now the wisdom oracle, you have imagine, the number 20. Yeah, so just imagine. Imagine this love coming in. Imagine you being happy. Okay, imagine, allow yourself to dream, allow yourself to, to reminisce, okay, relive the good memories. Okay, and then from the romance angels, you have codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. 
Okay, this may have been something and that may be why this reach out and talking about partnership and, you know, um, like I kept saying, you know, a team and balance. Okay, this may be why this is there. So maybe you've had relationships in the past where you were giving too much and not receiving enough or vice versa. Okay, where you were receiving and not giving, you were closed off, you know, which may have been because you were hurt or, you know, whatever the case is. Okay, then there may be some, you know, people who are depending on you or you who are depending on people. But just in the end, remember, there needs to be balance. Okay, you can become one with somebody. There's going to be a partnership, a union here. Okay, you're going to have this happy, fulfilling relationship as long as you follow your heart's true desires and you don't try to do everything yourself. Okay, that you're allowing people to help you. You're allowing to spread some of the responsibilities. Okay, or if the energy is reversed, that you're willing to help and not let somebody just take care of everything. Okay, so I hope this was a message that you guys needed to hear. If it was, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with family and friends because there may be a message here for them as well. Until next time, blessings to you all. For those of you who chose pile number two, your message from the Lover's Oracle is, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through term oil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So this may be a time where you have been going through something. You're not sure why it happened. You know, do I did I deserve this? What did I do to deserve this? This is not fair. You know, all these different things. Um, but it's telling you through this difficult situation, there's going to be a blessing. Okay, good things will come from this trying time. Okay, now from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart, we have Move, New Vitality, and Dedicated Effort. Okay, I'm going to pull from the book here. Okay, so that I do not miss a message. move act direct master discipline focus and effort now is the time to be proactive regarding matters of the heart if you're looking for a relationship take the initiative to find one take advantage of the many ways to meet your soulmate this card is about action 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 if your currently if your current relationship is not moving in the direction you wish do whatever is required to shift that direction. You're the master of your own destiny, and that includes your relationships. Don't wait for others to make the first move or set the tone of the relationship. You take charge. Okay, this is also known as the chariot. Okay, so this may be a cancer um, in your life, or the person watching this video may be a cancer. Okay, it doesn't have to be, but that's just the major arcana for the chariot here. Okay, and then you have new vitality, which is the number one. Okay, and that reads, revitalize, focus, and joy. There is a great potential to revitalize your relationships right now, both with others and with yourself. Seize this energy and infuse more warmth and enthusiasm into all of your relationships. Have fun with other people and feel how this will lift your energy and spirits. This raised rate of vibration will assist in improving current relationships and in drawing new relationships to you. Okay, and then your last card is the dedicated effort 
Okay, work, perseverance, skill, and understanding. Creating and maintaining satisfying relationships takes effort and diligence. You've shown that you have what it takes and you're dedicated. Through your life's experiences, you've learned some valuable interpersonal skills. Use these tools to continue to nurture your relationships with family, friends, and your partner. It's easy to lose focus, especially when situations become difficult. However, you have the integrity and discipline to continue to work at improving your relationships with others. Your efforts will be rewarded. This is a good time to learn more about the people you're currently in a relationship with. The more you understand a person's belief, the easier it is to comprehend the motives behind his or her actions. The greater understanding will go far in fostering better communication. Learning new communication skills will also be useful at this time. You have what it takes to sustain positive, loving, supportive relationships. Keep up the good work. Okay, so this is telling you basically, all three of these cards are saying basically you have the power. Okay, you have the power, the drive, the knowledge to move this relationship, you know, however it applies to you. If you're in a current relationship or if you're wanting to be in a relationship, you have the power, okay, to manifest what it is that you want. If things are not moving in the right direction, you can sway them in the right direction, okay? And like this car says, you may not understand why certain things happen. So you may not understand, you know, why things weren't going right or why things went cold for a little bit or why you guys hit a bump in the road or why there was a separation. Like you, you don't always understand why, but you just know that there's a higher purpose in your life. Okay, and through all difficulties, there is a blessing. Okay, after the storm, the sun always comes up eventually. Okay, the storm is not a permanent situation. Okay, then with the guardian angel tarot, we have ten of thought. Okay, a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sign of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. Okay, so that may have been something that some of you guys were dealing with. I know not all viewers, but there is a difficult situation. Something that all of you guys have been dealing with, which is why you have this this card here you know to let you know that things are going to be um there's going to be a blessing after this storm pretty much okay and this is just here to reassure you that the tough times are over okay that storm has passed and now there's nothing but good things that await you and if this was a person okay that person may have been going through some things and with you there helping them and encouraging them, you know, now they're having this new start and they're able to put forth this effort. Okay. Then you have the six of thought. Peaceful times are on the horizon again. So you guys were dealing with something very difficult. You know, it's going to be a different situation for everybody. Okay, but this hard time is has passed. It's over. Okay, peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed, and now you can see your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country. That's basically what I just said. And then the Ace of Abundance. So this is a new beginning here. This cherub brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to sign. Okay, so the overall message here is you can breathe that sigh of relief. Okay, thing the storm has passed 
and there's going to be beautiful things that are coming in store for you now. So you can rest assured and be relaxed that a new beginning is, is coming in, okay? There's a new beginning here for you. Okay, from the goddess guidance, you have medicine woman. You're a channel for divine healing power. Yeah, like I said, this, you know, you may have you or someone you have been dealing with may have been dealing with some addictions or some codependency issues. Okay? But you had the power. Remember this move card and new vitality also with dedicated effort. All those messages had touched upon the simple fact that you can influence the situation in your favor one way or another. Okay? So, it's t this is telling you again, you have the healing power. Okay? You can help this person heal or you can heal yourself. Okay? You have the ability to to heal, okay? To sway things in your favor. Okay? Then from the Wisdom Oracle, you have the number 37, which is never ending story. Okay, yeah, you have been feeling down and out because you felt like this was a never ending story. This was an ongoing cycle over and over and over again. But this is telling you that now it has finally come to an end. It has finally come to an end. So whatever you've been dealing with, it's over with, it's done with. That cycle has completed. So you're out of this never ending story. You're out of it. The story has finally ended. Because you got this new vitality here. You have this new beginning. This new start. Okay, then from the romance angels here. You have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. So, that was the storm. Okay. There was a storm. That storm, were you paying attention or did the storm catch you by surprise? Okay, you needed to pay attention to those red flags. Okay, dealing with this person with addiction or codependency. Okay, you were stressed because you felt like this was a never-ending story. Things, you know, just kept going round and round and round. Okay, you've been so troubled, troubled and overwhelmed that you are just so ready to be done. Okay, but just make sure you pay attention next time to what the universe is trying to bring to your attention. So if you ever have to deal with another situation like this, you are aware. Okay, you're in touch with yourself. So you can pay attention to the signs so that you won't feel as burdened as you have recently. Okay, but this is a good blessing. You've been dealing with some very tough and hard stuff. There's no denying that. It's been a real crappy situation. Okay, something you rather have dealt without. But just know that it's, this is the time for it to be behind you. Okay, there is a new beginning here. Peaceful times are on the horizon. You got the ace of abundance here. This is a new, new windfall, new blessings coming in. Okay, so I hope group number two that this was the message that you guys needed to hear. Please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, many blessings. Okay, for those of you who chose group number three, your lover's oracle is transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Yes. Love is the most... Is the the best healer that there is. Okay, so you guys are going to be going into a transformation. Whether you personally, because of a relationship, or the relationship that you're thinking about is about to spring into a transformation. Okay, now this is the psychic tarot of the heart. Okay, and you have observe. Opportunity beckons. And love. Yes, see? Opportunity beckons and love. That's that transformation right there. Okay, so there's something. It's telling you to really pay attention. 
Pay attention to the signs, okay? What is this person telling you? What is this person showing you, okay? Really observe, really take a look around you, okay? What's going on? Really pay attention, okay? Release and surrender whatever you need to reconsider some things. Have a new understanding of something, okay? If something is revealed to you, be still and observant, okay? It might not be the time right now to take action. You may just really need to pay attention on what's going on. Gather some information so that you see what move it is that you need to make, okay? Observe in the traditional tarot is also known as the hangman, okay? So you you right now you may be torn, um, and not known which way to go. Like, do I go left? Do I go right? Do I wait for this person to make a move? Do I make a move? Okay, do I commit? Do I ride it out and see what happens? You you don't know what, what move to make right now. And that's okay. Just take a step back and observe. Because the opportunity is going to present itself within due time. Okay, so you may be waiting for the opportunity to come in. But it's going to come in at its own timing. Okay, its own timing. You, you may be feeling like things are not moving forward right away or as quickly as you want them to. But opportunity is coming and that's why you need to observe. Okay, because if you're so um, focused on what moves and stuff it is that you need to make, you, you may miss the opportunity. You may not see the opportunity coming. But love is coming in. And as we have this transformation card here, it's telling you that this is going to be, okay, a transformation in a relationship. Maybe a transformation in you or a transformation in your partner. Okay, can be some reconciliation. Okay, something may have happened and you're at a crossroad. You don't know whether to stay or whether to go. You're not sure. You're not sure. But it's okay that you don't know. Just take a step back and relax. Something is going to happen. Some, something is going to happen. And you need to be ready for when it does. And it's this transformation. Love conquers and transforms all things. Okay, and then you have this love card here. So this may be a reconciliation. This may be this person showing the effort and putting their foot forward. To let you know, you know, that they're ready for this beginning with you. They're ready for this relationship to be transformed. Okay, and now with the Guardian Angel Tarot here, you have Healer of Emotion. Yeah, see, so something needs to heal. Okay, you're at a crossroads. You don't know which way to go. So this may be reconciliation here. Okay, this is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insight. You or another person is kind, tender-hearted, loving, and a trustworthy friend. Okay, and then the next card, you have three of action. Things are working out beautifully now that your ship has come in. It's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. That's this opportunity beckons here. Okay, so here it's telling you, you just need to wait for your ship to come in. Okay, you're not sure which way to go. You're not sure what move to make. This is a time for you to just take, sit back, relax, and allow yourself to heal. Whatever happened, just allow yourself to heal. Allow your heart to heal. Okay, because then things are going to work out beautifully. An opportunity presents itself and you need to make sure that you're aware and alert to see that opportunity when it does. Okay, and then you will be able to make the choice because now you have everything in front of you to weigh your options. To decide whether you're going to stay or you're going to leave. Okay, and then you have manifest your dreams. And number one, you're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps towards the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. 
Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources that support that miraculous, that, I'm sorry. Notice the signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources that support that miraculously appear. So basically it's saying this opportunity is pretty much going to appear out of nowhere. Okay, it's going to appear. It's going to miraculously appear. Okay, and you're at this point, okay, you've already sat back, you've contemplated, you reviewed, you know, you've gathered all your information. Now you have everything, so now you have to make your choice. And once you make your choice, there's no holding you back. Once you get everything that you need, you heal, you rest. Once this opportunity presents itself, it's just going to be quick, quick, quick moving. Is You're not going to be at this hang state anymore, just observing. You're going to be taking action. You're going to manifest this. Whether it's reconciliation or whether it's, you know, I'm out, I'm leaving, this is not going anywhere. Only you can make that decision. But you will be able to make that decision once you give your time to he yourself time to heal. Do not make an, a decision based off of emotion. Okay, you, you will end up regretting it later. Okay, just take a step back. Make sure you have all the facts. Make sure you prepare yourself. Give yourself time to heal to see whether this is something that is able to be fixed. Something that you can get over or if it's something to let go. Okay, then from the goddess guidance, you have true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Okay, so there's no right or wrong in love. There's not. Love conquers, transforms, and heals everything. Okay, and you have this love coming in. Okay, you have this great love coming in. The opportunity for love is going to gonna manifest, is going to come in for you. Okay, it's just going to be whether you're going to accept it or not. Then from the wisdom oracle, you have fork in the road, the number 13. And that's like what I said, you're at this hanged man state. You're not sure whether to go left or right, move forward, stay or go. You're not sure. You're not sure yet. And that's okay. You don't need to make a decision right now. Then from the romance angels, you have this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. So, to me this is saying this may be a time for reconciliation. Okay. Um, this may be your true love. You've already met the person that you seek. Okay, you may be hung up on some things of the past or something that has happened and it's there's no wrong in that you take your time you heal but if this person is willing to fix things then allow them to do that you know allow them to show those actions and stuff and if it's enough and you feel it in your heart that okay i can move forward you will make that decision and then you guys will have an unbreakable bond but you know, if you're giving this person a chance while you're healing and you see that there's no effort being put in, you know, it's kind of a lost cause, then, you know, just cut the losses and it's time to just move on. Because either way, whether you stay or you go, you take a left or a right, there is love waiting for you. There is love waiting for you. There's no right or wrong. Okay, you have to do what you feel is right. Nobody can tell you. Nobody can make this decision for you. You have to make the transformation and let the transformation happen for yourself. Okay? Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So with this saying that it's about to deepen, and this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Okay? This is telling me pretty much like whatever happened, you may end up forgiving this person. And you guys may have a stronger relationship than before it was, you know, before it was damaged or before this hiccup came up. Okay, so just open your heart. Try to be understanding. Allow yourself to heal to allow these blessings to come in. I hope this was the message that you guys needed to hear. If it was, please like, comment, and subscribe. 
Share this video and my channel with family and friends as there may be a message here for them as well. And until next time, blessings to you all.